Aloha, I'm Tony, Planetarium Supervisor at Bishop Museum. Have you ever seen a shooting star? Every time I see one, it's as exciting as the first time. But what are they really? Well, for one thing, they're not actually stars shooting across the sky. The more accurate name for them is meteor. A meteor is the name for a streak of light across the sky as a small chunk of rock burns up in our atmosphere, the layer of air surrounding our planet. When the rock is still out in space, it's called a meteoroid. And meteoroids that make it through the atmosphere without burning up and land on Earth are called meteorites. Let's talk about what causes a meteor. Rub your hands together fast. What do you feel? Is it getting warm? This force of things rubbing together and heating up is called friction. You may have heard of it before. When a meteoroid is out in space, it's moving very, very fast, but there's nothing in space, not even air. When those rocks come too close to the Earth, they enter our atmosphere going anywhere from 25,000 to 160,000 miles per hour. The faster something is moving, the more energy it has. And the energy of moving turns into heat when there's something to rub against, like when you rub your hands together. Rub your hands together again, but slowly. Now rub them as fast as you can. <laughs> Which feels warmer, slow or fast? Just like rubbing your hands together faster creates more heat in your hands, a meteoroid moving very fast, rubbing against the atmosphere, creates a huge amount of heat, enough to vaporize the stuff the meteoroid is made of, which creates a streak of light that we can see and call a meteor. When we see lots of meteors in a short amount of time, we call it a meteor shower. One of the most famous is the Perseid meteor shower, which happens every year in August. There are many other less famous meteor showers throughout the year too, and they all happen at about the same time every year. Why is this? Planets aren't the only things that orbit the sun. Comets do so as well, but they generally have very long elliptical orbits. That means rather than being more circular, the orbit is long and looks like a flattened circle. Comets are loose collections of dust and ice that spend most of their time at the far edges of the solar system, only coming in near the sun every hundred to a few thousand years or so, depending on their orbit. When they get near the sun, the ice and dust come loose due to heat and other radiation from the sun. This debris is left behind in the path the comet followed. These debris fields stay in about the same place as the Earth goes around the sun. Our planet runs into the same debris at the same time each year. Meteor showers are named for the constellation where the meteors appear to come from. The Perseid shower is named for the constellation Perseus, for example. Generally, these constellations are rising in the east during the prime after midnight viewing time for a meteor shower. After midnight, the sky is darkest, and the part of the Earth you are standing on is facing the direction the Earth is moving through space, so your chances of seeing a meteor are higher. To find out when the next meteor shower will be, check out the Astronomy Highlights page on our website, www.bishopmuseum.org. We wish you clear skies, and remember, don't forget to look up.